Here's a system of equations with no solutions. Let me show you why that is the case. The first thing we want to do is be able to get our coefficients of either x or y to be exactly the same. And I always like them to be one positive and one negative, so therefore I can add the two equations. So what I'm gonna do is simply just choose y to say I want those coefficients to be exactly the same. So I have a negative two and a negative one. If I want them to be exactly the same, I can multiply the top equation by a negative two. That is now gonna give me a positive two in the numerator. You just need to make sure you multiply a negative two times each and every one of your terms in your top equation. Then we're gonna rewrite that down below with our bottom equation, which we did not change. Okay. So make sure when I multiply the negative two five halves, the twos divide it out. That's why I'm left with a negative five x. Negative two times negative one is a positive two. Negative two times negative four is eight. And you can see this is preserved. Now I have the coefficient of my y variable. One's positive, one is negative. They're exactly the same. So now I can add the two equations. When I add the two equations, I get a zero x plus a zero y is equal to a 16. Further simplifying that, I get zero equals a 16, which ladies and gentlemen is never true. So therefore this is an example of a system equation that has no solution, meaning the two equations of the line never going to cross.